Hello everyone, welcome back in a cloud computing playlist and in this playlist today's topic is legal issues in cloud computing. So there are so many legal issues that we face while transferring the data. Mostly it happens in the organizations when someone is sending the data, a client data is sending to the cloud and, and uh, the provider has the resp uh, responsibility to handle that data and it should not be leaked and something like that things. So today we are going to discuss some legal issues that happens in the cloud computing. Very first is the liabilities, then we talk about the laws and then copyright issues that happens even into the youtube also <laughs> so portability and the protection and compliances okay so very first is the liability liabilities happens when uh, mostly occurs when when we know that the in a cloud computing uh, storage and the processing of data happens on the remote servers so there are in some cases it happens like data breaches happen and the service interrupts happen so in that case liabilities is is essential thing for us because it, it is the uh, essential because to clearly define the responsibilities and the liabilities of the both 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 for what uh, uh, for the provider and the customer also so both have the responsibility both have the liabilities of the things like whatever the data is sending a customer or a client to the uh, provider it, it's the admin responsibility like they can't leak the data they can't uh, share the data with any other person so second thing is the copyright compliance uh, also things like uh, the, there are higher chance like someone can copy our data and use somewhere else for some purpose like i have created a software and now someone leaked that software now everyone is are able to access that uh, code somehow so 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 we need a uh, copyright compliance in in the cloud computing so that uh, our data should, should be secured and managed so basically in the cloud computing transmission storage and sharing of data happens including the copyright materials like i have described these things are copyright so somebody else use i will they, that guys will get a notification regarding that similarly it, it happens in youtube also like someone copy a, a single person video and then that guy get a copyright strike and copyright link something like so these kind of things happen usually so they have appropriate license they should have the license and the permission for any copyright content they store and share so before to sharing before to storing that data they should have the license or the permission of that particular person of that particular provider only then they can use that particular data so it comes into the copyright compliance second thing uh, sorry third thing is the law so in the digital world there are law is compulsory because anyone can do anything so if there is a law so there are some restrictions so nobody can easily get the things so the organization must comply with the application data protection laws such as we have the gdpr you must have heard about this gdpr law it's a very useful law in us also so they use it whenever the data leaks and something happens second thing the clear uh, contractual provision should be established to address the issues and specify the rights like uh, laws in the sense in the, whatever the document and the uh, yeah document you are uh, creating for the provider and the client it should be clear what kind of rights a person can have and what are the issues and things are should be uh, addressed okay third the service level agreements also helps uh, a lot in the cloud computing to establish a low and perfect uh, restriction into it. So it defines the terms of service, like whatever the service you are delivering, the performance matrix, uptime guarantee and remedies, whatever the remedy solutions for it, uh, if somehow the uh, service failure failures occurs okay if the service failures occur so there should be a solution for it and the uptime guarantee and the performance all the things should be mentioned in that uh, agreement the service uh, level argument agreement okay in the cloud computing now fourth is a portability portability in the sense like it's simple like whenever i transferring my data from one provider to another or maybe in a prime prim, uh, premises and maybe in a private cloud i sharing my data from one to other it should be portable like uh, any other data should not be conflict like we have a copy of that uh, data so if i transferring this data this data should not be should not be uh, interrupted okay so it's uh, it should be like a portable like one thing has 
failed but uh, the client should not feel like it has failed the parallel things will continue work and all the things will happen in the portability so there are uh, it mainly happens the issue occurs when uh, because one provider has a different structure of data and other provider has other formats so when we transfer data from one to other so we get the conflict of the formats and structure second the vendor specific api if we, they are using any specific apis we can't use our own rest api so it won't work a third is the transfer data cost and the bandwidth bandwidth is the most important in the cloud computing i have seen in the clouds uh, mostly case happens in the bandwidth if you if you don't does not increase the bandwidth the data will not be stored and these things happen so you have to increase it you have to purchase it and you have to pay extra for it now fifth and final compliance compliance is something like uh, uh discipline like we can say and it like whatever the organization using the uh, cloud service it must be ensured that their operation uh, whatever the operation whatever the service they are delivering it must be relevant to the compliance requirement whatever the requirement compliance requirement it should be meet that things first okay requirement meet that things so for example uh, in compliance we see the data protection and privacy is important okay data should not be leaked and something like that so privacy is important and second security standards and certification should be there so that any any client whoever want to go with that particular uh, provider they are able to see what kind of security levels and standard they have what kind of certificates they have for regarding to to security for securing their data so compliance is the fifth point and last thank you so much for watching this video if you loved it like this video share with your friends mil the next video ke sath mein jai hind jai bharat